Hey guys, this is Collector Dude again. Uh, I'm going to show you some more comic books I picked up. I picked these up a few weeks ago, but I didn't get a chance to make a video for them. I went to one of my half price bookstores and got all these for a dollar. But I went, I had these all at one time, but everybody has a story. I sold them all, gave them away or something, lost them, whatever. But um, I just found them again and I found them for a dollar. So they were in good condition. I picked them all up. This is Funeral for a Friend number one. Avengers of Superman. I remember these books used to be worth a lot of money when they came out when Superman um, died. And now the new movie, Death of Superman, I just got that off of Voodoo. And I watched it a few days ago. It's really good. I'm going to watch it again. Um, it seems like it's like the Doomsday movie that they came out before. But it's a little different. But uh, this one, uh, I'm not sure what uh, condition it's in. It's not real bad. The corners are really good. But I, I picked them all up because I just thought they were cool and they were in good condition. If they weren't, I wouldn't have bought them. But this for a dollar, they're good. Here's four ninety eight. I remember that this was really popular when it came out. This is number three. Three friend for a friend and Superman. They did a crossover and all this, so they could sell all their books. Superman, the Man of Steel. This is uh, number twenty. Friend over for a friend, number three, part three. And here's number four. Superman, number seventy six. Wow. They were, they were really good. It was a really good story. They did, they did really well with it. Back then, some of the stuff I didn't really like they were doing, but it was so popular and everything. I was thinking it. And anybody in comic books knew he's not going to stay dead. You knew you knew that. I mean, that's just the main character. You, you know they're not going to do it. But everybody was asking me, Gary, you collect comic books, don't you? Can you get us one of these? And I'm like, uh, if you didn't pre-order it <laughs> or you don't have a comic book shop, you ain't getting one of these. This I found for a dollar too. I was like, hey, this is cool. Uh, back then it was two fifty, But Superman number, I think this is yeah, number 75. With fold out splash, fold out splash, back cover, full color memorial poster, full color commemorative stamps, Daily Planet obituary, black morning armband, exclusive skybox trading card. Very cool. Superman memorial set. But I, when I saw it, I said, "Wow, that's cool." I had this too. I had, I think, a bunch of, I had a couple of them, and I don't think I ordered it because I didn't know exactly. I don't know what was going on back then. But I was a firefighter back then, and all the guys were asking me for a book. Or when uh, Orange County Choppers were on, and they made the fire motorcycle, the chopper. Everybody was asking me to get me one of them, get them one of those. And you had to pre-order those, too. And that was through the comic book store. And I had one, and I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I think I lost it in my moves since then. But that was like years ago. But uh, this is really cool. So I, I thought I'd get it. And just to have it, I don't have it in a backing board yet, but I'm going to have to do that because, like I said, I put everything in my Silver Age bags. And these are still in the half price books, um, modern age, current book bags but um, and boards. But um, I'm going to have to change them because I want to make sure I protect them. And this is one. See, I did this one. These didn't have bags. But it's amazing when you go to this, the half price bookstores, they have these books stuffed in these drawers. And if, you, if you've never been to one, they have them all stuffed in drawers and everything. And you're, you're lucky that they still stay in good condition. Um, you would think they would get torn, people flipping through them and tearing the edges and everything. And trying to find books and stuff. But um, they were in very good condition. I was surprised. But this is Superman in Action Comics, number 684. That's when he's fighting Doomsday. And he was vicious in the latest movie. Wow. Killing everything. They didn't show all of everything, but uh, very good. It was, it, it's just what he was. And to see him in the, like the latest uh, Batman vs. Superman movie, I, uh, hopefully they do it again and they do it right and everything. It was an absolutely terrible movie, and I loved when Wonder Woman came. She pulled it together. But um, I just, um, you know, if you're a comic book fan everything like that, you go, you shouldn't have did it that way. But like I said, it wasn't totally terrible. It was entertaining. And everything, but um, I hope they do it the right way. Like, because we're we we're comic book guys, you see it, and you want it to go the comic book way, and not have all that artistic license and combining stuff all together to try to just get that done. And they rushed it, and they shouldn't do that. But um, like I said, I still love DC, and I bought that movie. I, I watch it, and it's entertaining. But hopefully, they'll do it again and do it the right way. But back on to the comic books. This is what you turn tuned in for: The Adventures of Superman, number four ninety seven. Headbutt into the chest. 
Superman Doomsday number 74. I was surprised when you go the, go there sometimes you go to um, if you don't I don't go all the time to half price books but you go there sometimes they'll get a whole run of stuff. Like I said when I went there I was like gosh they got them all Superman Man of Steel where Doomsday is cracking crushing the title number 18. Excuse me I'm breathing in and getting all excited and talking and everything like that I don't want to get hiccups. But uh Superman the Man of Steel number 19 written he smells his breath, and he doesn't like it. And it's funny, always get they don't want to have they don't want to have blood. So that maybe that's tar from them fighting in the city, and he got his heat vision or something slapped up tar, and it splattered in his face. Everything that's not blood. Probably the comics code thing, but very cool. And I think this is number uh, seventy five. This is the one out of the box, but it was in very good condition as well. So I got that. And I thought this was cool. <laughs> Superman, the Man of Steel. I remember this came out. I didn't buy one. But Superman, number, the Man of Steel, number 30. And it has, like, you can do your own fight and everything. Collector's Edition, Man of Steel, number 30. 32 page comic featuring Lobo versus Superman. Sheet of removable vinyl cl clings. So look at all these clings on the back here. I thought it was cool because it was all still there. I don't know if I'll ever open it. But if I had two copies of it, I would. But it's just really cool. Fun. Lobo strikes again and again and again and again. So you can make your own fight scene. Pick your own... Pick your own fight. First ever do-it-yourself cover. I'm not sure what that's going for. If it's going for anything special. I didn't look it up yet. But usually I'll check stuff when I pick it up. Or if I'm sitting there standing at the uh, half-price books looking through them. I'll go to mycomic.com or eBay sometimes because eBay, you never know what it's going to cost or Mile High Comics. or um, And they seem that those two have a better selection than trying to go to Midtown Comics to try to look up back issues. Midtown doesn't seem like they have as many like that. But they have some, but not like these other two. Mid, um, half Price or uh, mycomicshop.com or Midtown Comics. And I know there's others. But this was cool too. 80. Weapon X. I love Barry Windsor Smith. My friend used to call me uh, Gary Windsor Smith when we were working on comic books years ago. But he's very cool. And I styled some of my creations on his uh, on his artwork when I did it back then. And like John Byrne was a big guy back then too. And George Perez was my favorite. And I still could try to draw a little bit like him. Like on uh, um, Hyman is too. Phil Hyman is his artwork. I like his too. But this is cool. I like Mike Diodato. Very good. I'm going to do an art book. Um, there's one of my um, subscribers wants me to do art books. So I'm going to do two videos as, or as many as I can do today because it's Sunday. I don't have anything to do. So I'm going to try to do a few videos of art books and everything and some of the other black and white stuff that I have. And those are fun to do. I'll take my time and go through all of them. Here's Electra. And and I like doing them. So um, get ready. Uh, everybody uh for some more art uh, book stuff that i'm going to be doing but uh fantastic first issue of electra this is um mike diodato so as soon as i saw it i said let me get this because i like diodato's artwork and here here is his book i'm gonna do a video of this one this is really cool but the wraparound cover of them having beat here's electra having beat a um sentinel very cool I think I got that for a good price at one of my local comic book stores. It's probably about a half hour away, um, but most of them are closer. But uh, he was selling those, I think, for, might have been half off of 10 bucks. I think I got it for 5 bucks. So I, was, I, I picked it up right away. Okay, here's more of the Friend Over 4 Friend. Here's number 5. This is uh, Superman, Avengers of Superman. Number and it's the statue of him. And here's Supergirl, Friend Over 4 Friend, number 6. Supergirl in Action Comics. And here's Friend Over 4 Friend, number 7, Superman Man of Steel. Very cool. And here's number 8, Friend Over 4 Friend, number 8, Superman. Flies off into the sunset. Getting more power, I would think. And I saw this too. I'm not sure. I know these are up in price. Rebirth Superman. Like the first ones. So, that, I saw that. I said, that's cool for a dollar. This... 
I got the trade paperback of this. I didn't buy the single issues. I got a few of them because I like Superman, Wonder Woman that, when that book came out. But I got a few of these. This is Doom. I like drawing pictures. So I'm going to draw my one of my cartoony pictures on it. And get that for a dollar. And it's like cover price $4.99. So that's a really good deal. I love these. I'm not sure. Is this Clayton Crane? I'm not sure whose artwork this is, but it's awesome. I got a lot of these covers, but I, I don't know if this is early stuff from him, Clayton Crane, or not. But um, that's a cool... Uh, uh, oh, Killer Croc. And this one I gave away to a friend because he loves comic books. And I went, I gave him the first two issues. And when I saw this, I said, you know what? Since I gave it away, and I and I read the first one, I liked it. So I'm, um, I wanted to get another one. So that's number one of Mortal Men. Uh, this one I gave away to him too. And then I found two through seven of uh, Fear Itself. I think I showed another video of it. And I found it at Half Price Books for a dollar like that cool i didn't have to buy it for full price or anything so cool book number one for yourself and it's seven issues so i'm gonna go I love to go back and read the rest of that let's see uh where's my other i want to show you all the ones that were together oh here's i found these extra ones too weapon x number 80 and did i get two of those yes yeah i got two of them when I saw it, I said I'd grab it because I like Barry Windsor Smith. And here's Weapon X number 79. Love that. Very cool. And here's Amazing Spider Girl uh, number 30. Thought that was cool, so I picked it up. Nice can get condition. I think it's the, that's the last issue. The end for now. Yeah. And I thought this was worth something, but I don't think so. But I thought it was cool. I like the color cover. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number 87. Sam Keith artwork. And this was cool. This used to be worth something at one time. Wolverine, The Jungle Adventure. Mike Mignola, I love his artwork. So, and Lee Wychek. I think he does a lot of inking for him lots of times. Walter Simonson writing, that's cool. Graphic novel. Uh, this I thought was cool. I had this at one time. I had, a, I think, almost a full run or how many issues it was. But uh, I don't have them anymore. Like I said, that's one of some of the stuff I've lost in my overtime. Gave away, sold. But Silver Sable, number one. Cool. With the chrome cover. Look at that. These were cool back there. Even though it was kind of silly, sometimes I would get tired and not get them. Like the chrome Spider-Man suit when they came out with them. I'm like, what? Spider armor? And I looked at it on the shelf. I'm like, get out of it. I'm not buying that. But I wish I would have because it was just cool. And I think I might have seen one. No, I didn't. If I would have Because I would have picked it up at Half Price Books. But... I hope one day I'll find one, and I'll get it. This is cool. I like Arthur Adams' artwork. Hulk, number, what's that, number eight? Yeah, Hulk number eight. Very cool, with Sentry smacking him. And these are cool. Like I said, this is, I like Mike Diodato's artwork, Diodato artwork. His first Hulk uh, artwork, artwork. And this is 447. Savage Redefined, two of them. Nice condition, so I picked them up. Dollar. This is cool. I got this for a dollar. Do some of my artwork on it. Now, I'm going to have to do a video showing you me drawing on these. Um, if I can. I gotta, like I said, i got to get a GoPro or something. Or trying to hold my phone. I've done it before and it's kind of hard. And I usually speed up the video. And I'm not sure people like that. I, I, I like to do it. I like when people comment. Like when Todd McFarlane does his, I love his stuff. When he comments and everything. And Jim Lee. Very cool. And I've seen Joe Maguire do, do the same thing. Uh... Young Justice, I'm missing some of these, so I had to pick these up. I cannot find issue one. Not on any site, not on anything. I might be able to find it on Amazon, but I got to find issue one. I can't find it. I got zero and then two through whatever, and I do not know what happened with number one. I I don't know. If anybody knows where one is, let me know. Uh, Young Justice 16, very cool. These were good. I wish they come out. I got all the series on uh, a CD or um, DVD. Hopefully, uh, they'll come out with another uh, show. But the, t the TV show, yeah. uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what they do with it. Maybe they're all aliens or something like that, and they're going to be revealed in these suits. And they're just say, gotcha, we got you, and let's hope. But that's number uh, 20. And then these, these were cool. This is Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 12. I thought that was cool because of that. And then these, these Lent Lenticker covers. Lenticular covers. Oz Effect, Action Comics, number 987. 
Uh, Oz Effect number two, Action Comics number 988. Thought that was cool. Look at that. Uh, 989. One from his father to him. This one I couldn't find. It wasn't there, but it was in the group. This is 990, Action Comics. And this is number 991. In the chains, out of the chains. So, but that's it. I'm going to do some more stuff, but uh, I'm going to. Uh, stop it and upload this video and I'm gonna do more but um and in my next video I'm gonna try to get this out this is my spider-man special package thing so but look forward to that one you guys have a great day thank you very much for watching click to do doubt